Hi guys, my name is Azhar and you're watching my YouTube channel Azhar Sassi. Now that we are in lockdown and I don't have any content to post on my YouTube, I thought let's share uh, the travels I did in the past. So in this video, I'm going to show you an amazing place in India which is called as Hampi and I would tell you 10 reasons why you must visit this beautiful place called as Hampi which is in Karnataka. You must have heard about this place. I had this place always at the back of my head but I couldn't go there because I always thought that Hampi was all about temples and it's just going to be some historic place. I pushed it because I know that it's always hot in Hampi and I wanted to go during the winters. When I actually went there in last December, I was totally surprised. was amazed to see the lovely city of Hampi. The picture that you see on Indian 50 rupees note is from Hampi. The place is so cool guys and I must tell you that after this lockdown is over you must definitely visit this place. I think this place is one of the best examples of saying India's incredible India and we kind of miss to visit these places and always look up to travel abroad. I wouldn't be able to show you the exact thing that I saw with my own eyes in Hampi but I'm just trying to express the feel, the vibe that I felt in Hampi through this video. So let's get started. Vamos! The first reason to visit Hampi is it's one of the 30 UNESCO's World Heritage Sites in India. I could literally see that a big monument was under the ground for so many years and they recently discovered it. I just can't imagine like still what all is there under the ground. An interesting fact is that there was an island called as Hippie Island which was recently like demolished by Indian government because some buildings were being constructed on that hippie island and it's a UNESCO World Heritage. They wanted to protect it. So now the hippie island is lost and I heard that hippie island had a lot of cool cafes, a lot of hostels, a lot of guest houses and it was so cool to stay there. But when we went, that hippie island was totally destroyed by the government. So when you say UNESCO World Heritage, it's kind of a must visit for the people who are interested in architecture and history and other things. The second thing is the mountain range that is surrounding this beautiful city. Just look at this guys. It is said that three fourths of the city is surrounded by mountains and only one side of the city is not covered by mountains. That's why Vijayanagar Kingdom chose this place as its capital. Hampi was the capital city of the great Vijayanagar Kingdom. Because of these three-sided mountains, I think it was chosen as the capital city of Vijayanagar Kingdom. Let me show you the map of Vijayanagar Kingdom. The entire south was ruled by Vijayanagar Kingdom. The south dynasty which is right now Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra was all Vijayanagar kingdom and Hampi was its capital. This city gave me the feel of the kingdom that's shown in Bahubali movie. It was exactly like that and it just reminded me of that movie. I still wonder how this great kingdom with three-sided mountains was destroyed by the troops of Alauddin Khaliji and Tughlaq. One recommendation I would give you if you are traveling to Hampi is that you must take a historian with you or a guide in Hampi who can really help you understand the story behind the entire city. We were fortunate enough to have a historian who was among with us. He loves history and he explained all of the things that happened in Hampi to us. The next reason to visit Hampi is the water bodies. You could do a lot of water activities like you, you could do cliff jumping, you could do boating, there is a boating called as coracle ride and you could swim, you could play with the water that's there. No one is gonna ask you. 
and there's a lot of water there's a river and it's so fun playing in water in middle of the hot scorching sun of hampi is really a great feel The next reason is Hampi is an amazing place for beautiful sunsets and sunrises. There is this beautiful hill called as Matunga Hills where you could go for a sunrise view. There is a hill next to the Hanuman temple where you could see the beautiful sunset in Hampi. Just look at this guys. Next reason is beautiful landscapes, the agricultural lands, the roads, the scenery, the greenery. It's a totally different place and different vibe. For the people who love different landscapes, this is a treat to watch. Next reason is there are a lot of cool places like cool cafes, cool restaurants and cool places to stay like homestays, a little resorts with great arrangements, lakeside arrangements and with beautiful views. If you want to spend a quality time amidst nature and, and beautiful scenery then Hampi is the perfect spot with perfect places to stay and you get to eat this traditional food in thalis in these cool cafes and restaurants which is typical of Hampi and Karnataka which would be a bliss for most of the foodies out there. The next reason is for the people who love architecture this Hampi is a mind-blowing place. There are like several structures and architecture they are really carved so technically and designed in a great way. Watch out for some subtle architectural designs that really captivated my attention. There are places like Lotus Temple, Step Temple which has natural cooling techniques and the horse and table structures which I haven't seen in most of the places. I have been to a lot of places in Jaipur and I have seen a lot of Mahals, this architecture was quite different from those. The next reason is you could see some cute animals like like monkeys, elephants, you could play with them, you can see the elephants. Foreigners who visit would obviously love the cows and buffaloes that you see on the roads.
the next reason is this place is an amazing place to buy clothes traditional clothes there are lots of places and markets where you can go and buy traditional clothes like this I wanted to buy one but I stopped shopping these days so I didn't buy but my friend bought it and it looked so cool on him so if you are fond of wearing traditional clothes then you could go and visit Humpy's markets and you could buy those traditional clothes I think these clothes are of cotton and it's really good for the summer and the heat of Humpy let me tell you in Humpy it's so hot most of the months are really hot and during winter the nights are really cold but still there is no difference in the day it's still hot in the months of winter as well so plan your trip to Humpy in the right months if you don't like hot weather there are a lot of unexplored places in Humpy and hidden places and let me tell you that you won't get signal mobile signal so plan it accordingly also this historic place would give you some kind of inspiration in your life and you would come back with great memories and something to learn out of the history I think traveling is all about getting inspiration from few places I think it's all about that so those were the reasons why you must visit Humpy according to my perspective if you want to know more about the right season, the things to do in Humpy and the places to visit, please do let me know in the comments. I would be glad to help you out. If you ever had visited Humpy, please let me know in the comments. What would be your reason to visit Humpy? If you have any beautiful experience that you had in Humpy, please do share it in the comments. Please share this video with all the people who love traveling and discovering new places. Also, share this video with your travel buddies and start planning for Humpy. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this video. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, please give a dislike. If you want to see more interesting videos just like this one, please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like, comment, share and subscribe. See you until my next video. Bye-bye. Ciao.